What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. In this episode today, I'm really pumped about this man. Captain called me and asked me if I want to go on a trip with him. We're going to go out to the Tuna Grounds, probably 150 to 130 miles off offshore in about 7,000 feet of water, target some uh, yellowfin and blackfin. Then we're going to do some deep dropping, slow pitch jigging for um, scamp grouper, yellow edge, uh, snowies, uh, long tail sea bass, amberjack, whatever we can get on the jig. I'm really excited to uh, throw some jigs, man. I got a new slow pitch set up right here. This is um, an ocean jigger and I use uh, slow pitch baits. He's, uh, I got a bunch of baits from him. He's local to the area. He makes awesome slow pitch baits. I'll show them to you here, show a clip and whatnot. But I'm excited to get out there, man. I love going offshore, targeting bigger species. It's something different, you know, it's not the kayak. I'm in the boat, a little more comfortable sometimes, you know, when you slow pitch and everything. But with that being said, let's get to fishing. Let's get on this boat. Let's catch some fish. That's a good fish. Hit the papa. I'm not sure what it is. Yeah, the jigs in the. I think it's a black fin though. Yeah, it's a black fin. I could probably boat flip if I needed to. Ready? You got him? That's a decent size one. Alright guys. First back fin finally in the first fish of the of the night on the popper. There's a decent size one, man. You probably use this guy for chunk bait. We'll put him on ice, clean off the boat because he made a mess. We will put him at. I don't oh, sorry buddy. Good job. Show ship right here. I think they call it the the Black Knight or something like that. I can't remember the name, but we're we'll gonna be looking for some more tuna right here. Hope we get on some yellowfin, blackfin. Yellowfin is the main thing we want right now. But look how big the ship is. Thing's absolutely enormous. Now I gotta change my batteries. Uh-uh, I didn't see. Oh, yeah, I see him right there. Yeah, there's a dolphin right there. That's a yellow? Back and forth. Hey, step. Hey, there you go. You off. Good, good, good. That, that was his line. I ain't seen color yet. We bowed up right now, guys. First drop on the new drill ship. That's a, that's a proper black right there. Very nice, sir. Very nice. Would you like to hold him up for the camera? Upside down? Huh? I hope he shakes. <laughs> <laughs> if you're all in the nuts. Uh -huh. Very nice, sir. Solid black fin. Let's go. I'm going to switch up jigs. But it's kind of slowing down. These tuna ain't that, that far down. So I'm going to put this flying jig down. Made by uh, Slow Pitch Baits. Rig up another assist hook and drop them down. That's a proper fish. That's a proper fish, guys. Yeah. 
them on, but you just want to slowly crank them up on these slow pitch rods. Just use that reel to wrench them in. These things are wrenches. They're fighting like. He should be right here. I got your rod. Yeah, you good. Free spool. Nice. Flap, 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 flap. Thank you, sir. Yeah, it is. You might turn that front light on for me one more time. No. You gotta get a picture of this jig in his mouth. All right, guys. Second black fin of the night. Bite's heating up. He hit the slow pitch baits. Mahi color on the way down. We'll put him on ice, man. Amazing looking fish. It's good morning. Sun is finally coming up. And we're gonna drop some jigs down and some deep drop reels. See if we can get us a, a grouper or two. Let's show what it is. Hey, it ain't big. I don't know if he's there. He got light. Hope he's still there. about to find out I think so nah he's there he's small beeliner All right, guys, first fish on the deep drop is what you call a beeliner. Right here, he ate the, the flying fish jig. I think this is 250 grams. Dropped it down. A nice little beeliner. These are actually delicious to eat, too. Very good to eat. Captain T ended up hooking something really big on the deep drop reel. We thought it was a shark, but we were shocked what we saw. Check this out. Come on, baby. I feel like people would give up by now, though. Got dead immediately, did you? Yeah. That's insane. Got him all occupied over here. Close. Just don't put a lot of tension, because if this is a war saw, because he's coming on up now. Oh, if you start seeing bubbles, man, I'm going to freak out. That's a shark. I see him down there. That's an amberjack, isn't it? You got a big old amberjack. Big old jack. That's probably what freaking snapped me. No, that's it. Yeah, that's amberjack. That amberjack. Holy crap. Stud amberjack. That's, that's like a 40-pounder, man. Do you want to pick up that uh? Every time we get a video of yours. I don't know nothing heavy. I know you. I know you. I know your arms are pretty tired from that thing in. There you go, Captain T with the monster amberjack. Heck yeah! Head first, baby. There he goes.
Nice. Oh, man. Make it That's what I'm talking about. Fish on. Heavy looks big on this pole. He ain't that big, I don't think. He hit it with on the fall though. Come on, baby. What we got? What we got? It ain't huge. Probably a bee liner or a sea bass. If I had to guess. But I'll be happy with either. I got color. My first sea bass, baby. Let's go. Yeah. That's awesome. Heck yeah. Way to go, Captain T. That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys. This is my very first sea bass here. Look how beautiful that fish is. Heck yeah. We fished here yesterday and didn't catch Uh-huh. Let's get the hook out. All right, guys. Finally got my first uh, sea bass. Caught him on a slow pitch baits. Uh, the flying fish color and i'm super pumped about this catch mr t put me on the spot and getting the fish off the bucket list baby let's get it appreciate it mm. that's a good fish I might be a snapper. Ooh, good fish. Good fish. Heavy fish, heavy fish. Going drag? Yeah. No, I just like got heavy now. <sighs> I think I was wrecked. Sure. Yep. Heavy guy. Come on, buddy. Come on up. Head shakes like a dang snapper. Come on. Get yourself up. Appreciate it. <laughs> Come on, stop fighting. Come up like a grouper. Come on, buddy.
Look at that pole bend over. He's coming up now. No, I'm not finding that hard. Push it, snapper. Could be a trigger. Yep. Yeah, it's a nice one. I need to get a picture with that one. Real quick. Yeah, real quick. Woo. Here you go, buddy. Here, keep that. Oh, never mind. You good? Whew. He's almost. He's probably like 27, 28 inches right there. He might be 30. No, oh, he might. He might be 30 for sure. I see how big his head is. Whew. Finally. Hey, you gonna bend first and not just, I won't pick him? Good. Stud snapper on the jig, guys. He's gonna come to life. Mm -hmm. Put my rod down. See how the air go. Make sure you always vent these fish. Properly vent your fish. That's about 30 inch, you think? Oh yeah. Slam, baby. There, there you go. There you go. Way to vent them all, man. Good job. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Yeah. Whoo! Okay, I'm done. Yeah, Alright guys. I caught this one on a slow pitch bait, 200 gram jig, tiger color. Just dropped it down and he absolutely hammered it. All right, all right guys, we just finished up. We cleaned the boat, we're cleaning the fish right now. And I just want to give a big shout out to Captain T for taking us out here and getting us on the fish. We had a heck of a time. We caught a ton of blackfin. We caught some mingos, some snapper, big snapper actually, real big snapper, we couldn't keep them though. And some uh, yellow edge, what else did we catch? Uh, sea bass. Uh, sea, yellowtail sea bass. That's right. And um, if you guys are ever interested into a charter in the Dolphin Island area or Alabama area, um, I'm going to let him give you the information so you guys can look them up. Guys, you can contact me at uh, CaptainTFishing.com or 251-454-4107. Awesome. And I'll leave all the information down below. So if you guys are interested, just click that link below and it'll take you right to his page. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll meet you guys in the kitchen. Let's make sure that Max good. All right, what's going on, guys? I got my first long tail sea bass I caught with Captain T. He invited me out to uh, go fishing with him. And uh, I'm going to flame up and we're going to cook them. I actually never had one of these fish before and I'm excited to try it. So, I'm going to start like any other fish I never cleaned before. Take my sword knife, 7 inch flex with the fish scale still on it because it's been used. And you know, if you want to feel around, see what. This fish doesn't seem like it has a lot of head meat. So, it, like, it stops right here and there's a huge gill plate. So I'm going to turn this fish around. I'm going to take my knife. I'm just going to make that first decision right here. I'm going to turn it around and uh, follow his backbone. Just like any other fish. Go across. Wipe the scales off the knife. I'm going to lift it up. I'm just going to see if I can follow his backbone. You can hear it. And I can already tell how white this meat is. Holy crap, look at that. That just looks amazing. Now I caught this fish on a slow pitch jigging, jigging that setup I had. Bait made by Slow Pitch Baits. He's local to the area. He makes absolutely stunning baits. Cut this pin bones pretty easy, seems like. Got on that rib cage. So I'll cut myself. And bam. Look how white that meat is. That looks amazing. Doesn't that look good? I'll wipe the scales off. 
Just want to do the same thing on the other side. The other side is always the worst side. <laughs> Thin on my finger. That hurt. This sword knife is so sharp too. I use it so much already. I haven't even had to chop it one time. Just taking my time, make sure I try to get all the meat as, as possible. As much meat as possible. Puncher, puncher, puncture his stomach either. Leave that intact. There's fillet number two. And there's that sea bass. You can see right through that thing. Didn't have the puncture of the guts. It's good because I cleaned it inside the house. My wife probably wouldn't like that. Now, like I said, I never cleaned this, one of these fish before or had one to eat. I just want to fair around and see if they got any pin bones in here. And it feels like there's few just like all the fish I have a few right here to make sure we cut those out just use a seven inch flex knife let's go back and forth get it right off the skin and butter there you go beautiful white meat I'm excited to try that let's do this one Bones again, same thing. Boom, there we have it. Two beautiful white long tail sea bass fillets. Now I'm gonna get the pan heated up. I actually am just gonna, I never had one of these, so I'm, I'm not sure how to cook it. So I'm just gonna get some olive oil in the pan, some salt and pepper, and eat it like that so I can get the taste of the fish. So let's get this pan heated up. I'm gonna clean this mess up first. Guys, the fish is done. Now it's time to taste test. Taste test. Alright, I need you to be quiet. Okay, ready? Alright, guys, here's the fish. I'm gonna try it. First things off, it's very white, very flaky, and uh, smells good. It doesn't have a fishy taste to it, so let's try it. It's really good. I mean, it's no fish taste at all. Super um, white, as you can tell, look how flaky this. Super flaky, definitely a fish I enjoy. This is a very delicious fish. Am I gonna try a bite? Mm -hmm. Might be a little hot. It's okay, Daddy. Here you go. Mm. <laughs> is it good? Chew it up. I don't know how you really like it. You love it? Okay, well, thank you. I'm gonna try another bite because it's not bad at all. Mm. Hot. I just saw air rush out of you. Yep. It's like the steam. steam. <laughs> this is it for the video. I appreciate everybody watching. Thanks again for tuning in. And if you like this video, just comment below. Let me know what you want to see next. And uh, guys have a good day. I'm gonna keep on eating.